Yeah. Finally, like two hours later, I finally got the license. Probably the cheapest accommodation we've ever got. But that's why it looks very, very different to the other parts of Sri Lanka. Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. Good morning. We are heading down south today. We picked up a bike from Nagombo. So we're about to take a journey down towards Gaul, which should be about two hours. But first we've got to stop at Colombo and get our Sri Lankan license. Right guys, we are on the way to Colombo. We have just stopped at the shop to grab some breakfast. Kieran's gone in and I'm just waiting with all of the bags. We've still got about 25 minutes left to go um, to the police department as we need to go get Kieran's driving license verified. What have you got us, Kieran? Two passion fruit juices, two bucks of and a vegetable. Nice. Right, guys, we are at the motor traffic office. I've been waiting for nearly two hours already. Um, it's still in there. I'm not sure how long he's going to be, but hopefully soon because it's so hot. Here he is. Finally. Like two hours later, I finally got the license. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. How much did you pay? Two thousand in the end, and I thought it was seven thousand. So that was the only positive about that experience. Literally, it took ages, and I was getting sent from one station to the next station. Like people weren't understanding what I was saying. I weren't understanding what they were saying. They were ringing people speaking Sri Lankan. Oh, it was an absolute uh, nightmare. But, in the end, so but I got it, and it was so hot. have made it. This is where we stay in. How cool is this place? We got our own little private beach there. What do you think Karen? Looks good. It's such a cool vibe here. Yeah, I like it. So this is our little home. Just right by the beach. It's just very simple. It's just this one bed here and that's about it. And how much did we pay Karen? Oh, three pounds. So it's so cheap. Like probably the cheapest accommodation we've ever got. This is our private little beach. I say little, it's huge. <laughs> Girlfriend, two. So guys, we've just found a nice spot to watch the sunset. And the sunsets in Sri Lanka are honestly so nice. We've just ordered a couple of cocktails uh, to go with it, but the sun is literally about to drop now. Um, so we might actually be end, we might end up drinking them afterwards, but this is what it looks like. You could probably just make the sun out right over there. But it's stunning, isn't it, Maddie? Yeah, it's so beautiful. So the cocktails have arrived just as the sun is dropping. You don't even remember what No, I literally did. can't remember what I've gone for. Maddie's gone I've for a favourite. Yeah, she loved that, and I've gone for whatever it is. I can't even remember what it was. Sounds but... like mojito. Yeah, but it's happy hour, so uh, it's two for one. So I think we're going to enjoy this if you like. That's nice. nice. Oh, sure about that. Really? I don't even know what it is. Mojito. Is it? Why do I order that? I don't right. know. You ordered. Right guys, we're just going to jump on the bike now and head into Gaul. It's about a 10 minute drive for us. We're both super hungry now, so we're looking forward to having some delicious local food. The dinner has been served. So we have roti and dal curry, uh, sambal, I think this is like a spicy sambal. And then what's this one did he say? Semi sambal. Okay, so yeah, it's very authentic Sri Lankan dish. It looks good, so I'm going to give it a go. The rock is really good. It's very hot, it's really good.
Good morning guys, how's it going? We have an exciting day ahead of us today. I can't wait for you to see what we get up to. But first, we're gonna enjoy some breakfast on the beach. Time to head to Gaul, let's go. Right guys, we have just arrived in Gaul. We're just gonna spend a couple of hours roaming around the beautiful streets of Gaul. It's very European-like. Um, and I did a little Google search just before we came and Gaul was actually built by the Portuguese in 1588 if I remember right so that's why it looks very very different to the other parts of Sri Lanka So this here is the famous Gaul cricket ground There's an iconic moment here about two years ago where England toured and they won the test match and it was, it was Covid going on at the same time so there was only one English fan here and he was stood exactly here and the captain of England, Joe Root, called him after they won the test and they just thanked him for being here. He was in, he was in Sri Lanka for 12 months um, waiting for the test match really. So, yeah, that was a cool moment and, and being he was stood exactly here. So as you can probably tell, I'm a big cricket fan and this is probably one of the most beautiful stadiums in the world. It's not the biggest with the stands, but I mean, the views are insane. Straight opposite the court court. Then you've got the, the sea surrounding it. Yeah, it's like really cool, very beautiful. Right guys, we've just made the long walk up to our new accommodation. We have now been upgraded to the treehouse suite, which is a pound more expensive. Yeah, it costs us four pounds per night, which is absolutely incredible. The location is amazing. We have private beach and it's just incredible. Yeah, it's a really cool laid back vibe there. And yeah, like Maddie said, we've got the beach. So it's pretty warm now, so I think we're gonna go in the sea for a swim. But we will finish the video off here. We're gonna to continue to explore the south coast of Sri Lanka. We're actually absolutely loving it in this country. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.